Hello, my name is Eben Haber, and I'm going to be showing you research aimed at helping businesses understand their customers in entirely new ways using terabytes of public social media data. Now, businesses have always wanted to serve their customers as individuals, and social media analytics provides the opportunity to do this at scale. What can we learn from social media? Consider this profile of an IBM colleague. We can generate millions of such profiles from the content of billions of tweets, identifying traits such as purchase intents, demographics, and interests. Not only that, we can dive deeper to understand more about who this person really is, identifying traits such as personality, he's not much of an extrovert, needs and values, he ranks high in curiosity and self-enhancement, and even schedules. We can see that he's in a different time zone, so I shouldn't try and reach him when it's afternoon here. We can infer these traits thanks to decades of psycholinguistic research which have found correlations between traits such as these and an individual's language use and activity patterns. This is data that marketers have never had access to before, and it could be extremely valuable to them because research has also shown that traits such as personality are highly influential over brand preferences and buying decisions. This could permit much more refined marketing than traditional approaches based on demographics and purchase history alone. Only IBM has demonstrated the technology to process, extract, and integrate this variety of information from terabytes of public social media data. How can we use this? We've been engaged with a large financial services company who wants to identify both customers and prospects interested in buying houses, cars, and travel. Their main problem right now is the quality of their leads. They're just terrible, leading to low response and conversion rates. The goal of this research is to dramatically improve conversion rates by one, identifying much higher quality leads, and two, permitting marketing that is much more personalized and refined for every lead. For this engagement, we mined three months of Twitter data and identified 90 million distinct customer profiles, 15 million of which were active in the last 24 hours. Of these, several hundred thousand expressed interest in their online tweets in buying houses, cars, or travel. Leads worth millions. As an example, you can see here tweets where people have expressed in their social media interest in buying a house. Our analytics are able to automatically detect these and bring them into social media profiles. So let's say that I were one of our partners marketing directors responsible for designing a home loan campaign for existing customers in California. This interface provides a dashboard where I can see both customers and prospects, both in aggregate and broken down by demographics and intrinsic traits. Especially important, IBM technology is able to automatically link the social media profiles with my own master data records of demographics and purchase history, providing me the full power of both data sources. Now, as I select the traits of interest to me, the system is automatically doing clustering to help me find interesting groups of similar people. I can see a large group of married people, which I expected, they're the majority of home buyers, but what does it mean that they're low openness? Similarly, what about this group of high openness unmarried people? I want to find more about how to serve these different groups. The system is able to show me both groups side by side, highlighting the differences between them. On the left, I see the high openness unmarried group, and they score high in openness, high in conscientiousness. A lot of them work in IT, many of them express interest in travel, but what does this really mean? What are the implications of this? Well, I can compare this with past campaign data, and I can say that people like this in the past have responded more favorably to shorter term adjustable rate mortgages. By contrast, the married group who score lower in openness and conscientiousness, people like that responded more favorably to longer term fixed mortgages. So the recommendations from the system are helping provide me both the optimal messaging and products to resonate with each micro segment. Now, of course, this is how we imagine that these intrinsic traits can be used. Marketers have never had access to this before. So we're working closely with our partners to understand how best to use this data in the real world. So to sum up, this is research aimed at generating hundreds of thousands of high quality leads from vast amounts of noisy social media data and do so automatically and reliably. It's able to generate deep psychological profiles so that companies can deal with their customers as individuals rather than vague demographic blurs. 
In short, this is research aimed at helping lead generation, segmentation, and messaging to improve conversion rates and the bottom line. Thank you.